What's up guys, it's Freddy with Freddy's Reviews and I'm here with Toro's 30 inch Turfmaster HDX. Now before we go into the mower, I wanna talk about this iconic company that started in 1914 as Toro Motors, building engines for the Bull Tractor Company. It wasn't until 1924 where they built their first 30 inch mower, but it was a real blade spinning mower known as the Park Special, rugged, versatile, very successful mower, but it wasn't until 1948 that Toro enters the rotary push mower market by acquiring Whirlwind Corporation. They built mowers under that name for about five years, then they ditched the Whirlwind name and went all in on Toro, and the rest is history. Now you're looking at Toro's 30 inch Turfmaster HDX. Now the Turfmaster HDX comes with two options. You can option it with the Kawasaki engine like you see here or Kohler. Now Kohler claims they have 30% more torque, which is better for wet and tall grass, which is really good. Now I have a lawn mowing business that does over a million in revenue, so I see my fair share of mowers. Plus I have four of these, two with the Kawasaki and two with the Kohler. Now, have I really noticed a difference? No, I haven't. So. The one of the benefits that you would get by upgrading to the Kohler engine, which is about $100 more, is the three-year warranty. With the Kawasaki, you get two limited commercial. So you get an extra year with the Kohler engine. This mower weighs 173 pounds, has one gallon gas tank, and goes four miles an hour. Now the deck is multifunctional. You can mulch like normal with the mulching kit in the back, side discharge or bagging system. Now up here at the handles, the bales, really big, comfortable. There's the safety to engage the blades and there's the parking lever. Okay, you're probably wondering how much is this mower? With the Kawasaki engine that you see here, you're looking at an MSRP of $2,443. If you option it with the Kohler engine and you're looking at it, that extra year warranty, you're looking at an MSRP of $2,543. So not a bad price for a 30 inch mower. We're here at Cutler's in Orm, Utah with Scott Cutler to take a closer look and to tell you what parts you're gonna need on hand if you buy the Turfmaster HDX. So Scott, what are the pros? Toro's done a nice job with a wraparound bumper all the way around, which is gonna protect it from getting banged when it's out there in use in a yard. They've done a really nice job, reinforced front end to keep it nice and solid, keep things from getting bumped. Larger rear wheels, if you look at the handle, it's complete metal. There's not really much plastics out here. And a couple other things is we tip this mower on the side here. This is a timed blade system. So these blades are gonna overlap and mingle as they're going around. That's gonna prevent any uncut grass. Heavy duty transmission on these. So from the first series generation to what's out now in the HDX, these transmissions are almost double in size. So Toro's tried to really correct a lot of issues or things that they've had problems with in the past. So for the commercial guys out there, you might wanna have some of these parts on hand. So a couple of things that I would suggest that you have on hand, spare set of blades. There are pulleys that you may run into issues down the road with just wear and tear. If you clean and clean underneath this cover, that'll eliminate a lot of problems. There's three belts underneath this cover. Simply by removing four screws and periodically cleaning under this cover, you're gonna reduce the wear and tear on your belts as well as on your spindle pulleys here. Um, oil filter. Oil filters should be changed every time you change the oil. Oil filters are inexpensive, oil's inexpensive. That's how you keep your engine running strong. Belts, I'd recommend to have a spare set of belts with this. And once again, there are three belts. We've only got two here, out here for the video. 
Plan on changing, changing your belt yearly if you're using the machine a lot of hours. It'll run stronger. Once again, keep you from breaking down. I'll put the description in the link below so you can order these parts if you need to. As far as kind of some critiques or things that maybe could be improved, I would like easy access to this cover. Maybe a little thicker, stronger axle in the back. Toro has done several revisions of the transmission. That is an issue that you may see for the most part. I think it's getting corrected. That being said, overall, I'd, I'd give it a pretty good rating, this mower. Hey guys, again, go to the link in the description below. If you want to buy this machine directly, call Cutlers. They're the largest Toro dealer in the West. Family owned business, been around for 40 years. And again, thank you so much. You betcha. Thanks, Freddie, for letting me share my information. Good mower. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Okay, Victor, ¿qué te gusta de esta máquina? La máquina me gusta porque es muy liviana, muy rápida y fuerte y para las subidas es excelentemente buena y la verdad su desempeño es muy bueno y ahorradora de gasolina, no puedo pedir más, la verdad es, es excelentemente buena la máquina. Oh, qué bueno. All right, guys, if you're on your way out, smash that subscribe button. I promise you'll see some equipment you'll want reviewed. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of my channel. If you want to see more great content like this Turfmaster HDX, click the link below for some Freddy Reviews merch. Also, click the other link to get you some more information on this Turfmaster. And give it up to my son, Freddy, who's out here manning the camera for you guys. And also, click the like button for the guys that are demoing this thing for you. And I'll see you on the next one.